the Wendy Williams Show. So much to, to tell you. Let's get started. It's time for hot topics. Come yeah. on. Here. Well, I know. Okay. Gary! <laughs> Just saying. Oh, <laughs> He's upstairs watching right now. Hi, Gary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last night, I had one of the best times of my life. <laughs> you know, sometimes depending on who you are, simple things that mean so much. I was um, out with some business partners, and I said, and we finally got the, everything I wanted accomplished. And I said, let's go celebrate. I'm invited to Fresco by Scotto, and they're doing a soft opening. Now, so, and I said, and I'll pay. You gotta get that established. I don't care whether you're on a date, <laughs> you know, like, let's not argue. And then they said, okay, and we'll leave the tip. I'm like, only if it's cash. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we get to the restaurant. And by the way, Scotto, as in Rosanna Scotto. <laughs> oh, look at us go. Here's Rosanna. In the middle is my friend Lori, a brilliant girl. And then there's me. And uh, I gotta tell you something. First of all, I had no idea that Rosanna's got some type of body. Oh, 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 but it flares all the way out and comes, up. yeah, uh-huh, in a juicy way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I found myself looking at her like a man, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh-huh, mm-hmm. So anyway, so she's laughing and we're all having a great time. Her whole family is there. And then there are people who come through. Now, a soft opening is usually like something really small and private and stuff. The joint was jumping. The food was ridiculous. I, and by the way, they paid, they paid uh, for us. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know, I had no idea. Yeah. Okay, so everyone was there um, from Chris Raggy to our boss here in New York at Fox, Lou Leone. And um, it was just wonderful. What, and, Kelly Ripa was there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. With her readers in her hand, look. Like, ridiculous. It, me in full Norma Kamali. You know, but I wasn't bothered by the puffer. You know, I, I wanted to do a, like I'd been out all day, and this was my last stop. And I was on my way out, you know, to get in the car to come home to sleep so I can be here this morning. And so Rosanna comes over, she goes, Kelly really wants to say hi, but they're paparazzi every place. Do you want me to send them away? <laughs> I said, no, I am here to be popped and rotzy. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I don't know where their pictures are, but my friend Lori took this one. She took a whole bunch of others and she's got the iPhone. Everything was blurry, her hands are shaking. <laughs> You know, she's trying to hold leftovers. I'm like, can you put that over there? What is going on? So um, Kelly mentioned us today, or you know, us two girls today on Kelly and Ryan, and um, <laughs> Kelly, and I said, what was Ryan's reaction? 
let me see the clip. Ryan was cool, and um, I, yeah. She was there, Mark was there with her, her husband. It was a night, uh, look, the who's who of New York were there. I love that. But here's the thing, here's the thing. In new life, I do go out, but I don't go out, like I'm very strategic, like where am I gonna go? What am I going to do, whatever. To the point where, even though Kelly makes more money and she's, you know, doing that show, you know. Um, but I felt like Marilyn Monroe or something. Like, people were coming to the table, I could barely eat my food. Hi, Wendy, hi, Wendy, hi, Wendy. I, I really did feel like the queen of everything. And so, so, so I said to Kelly on my way out, I was like, by the way, and congratulations on your Emmy, another one, daytime. You know she's gonna win. You know, they're in the category for what, best host? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who else is in that category? Uh, I think Kelly Clarkson's in there, oh. and um, <laughs> what? <laughs> who, who else, who else? Who else? Oh, uh, there's Kelly Clarkson, there is uh, Kelly and Ryan, there is, um, oh, I think the Red Table Talk ladies, and the Red Table Talk Estefan ladies, and somebody else I can't remember. I'm no shade, I just can't remember. No, it's okay. Yeah. She, she laughed at that, she's like, Wendy. She whispered something I won't share with you. But anyway, yeah, mm hmm And then I left. Poof, I'm gone. <laughs> Me and Kelly are texting each other. I'm in the car. Text them back and mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like her a lot. I was just trying to stall because <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Apparently the rumors are true that Kanye is dating Bradley Cooper's baby's mother. Her, her, her name is Irina Shake. Now there they are looking so coupled up in France. Then we have a picture of them getting off the plane. He's in his puffer. There she is with a basket bag. But the rumor is that they've been dating for six months. What? Yeah. Did Kim know about that? Wow. First of all, Kim, not a bad looking girl, but you look so much better. Yeah. So much, yeah. I was informed during our morning meeting that she's some sort of big model, like worth millions of dollars. I don't know who this is. <laughs> Sports Illustrated cover model? I don't. Victoria's Secret? I, no, I, I don't, have no idea who this is. <laughs> and Bradley, we know, is a very private guy. So he must be freaking out that every time she gets mentioned now, he gets dragged into it. And every time he walks out of his house, I guess the paparazzi are gonna be waiting to ask him the fatal question. What do you think about Kanye and Irina? You know? Oh, Bradley, you've always got your mother. You know, like, Suzanne, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. An I overgrown know. Together, mama's boy. We're together forever, those together two. Together forever. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, I've achieved what I like. Yes. Oh, where, oh, excuse me. Look, look down, Rambo, look at my ankles. No, no, up, 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 look, look at the, look, no, up, up, more, more, um, mm. more, I, I want to show you that I can lock my feet behind you, which means. You're thin and skinny and. I was, I'm so tired of hearing that. <laughs> in a, in a, in a good way though. Uh-huh. I heard that a thousand times last night. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you're so skinny, mm -hmm. in a good way. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're so thin. I'm like, was I fat before? No, no, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'm eating the food, but people are talking. I don't want to slob on them and stuff. And look what I've achieved. Maybe I'll affect this pose when Gary comes out. Oh, no. no, I'm subtle. I'm subtle. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> <So> subtle. <clears throat> um, what were we, okay, all right. 
whatever. She's with him for publicity because even though she's as famous as whatever, I don't know who she is, but now she's on Hot Topics, you know? And if you stay with Kanye long enough, he might impregnate you. And then, and then, then you could really just have him locked down because Kanye's trouble. Like, I... You wonder what kind of woman would date Kanye West. And you would think it'd be a woman who needs shine or something, or a woman who doesn't make money or something like that. This is an accomplished woman, according to everybody but me. I don't know who this is. <laughs> you know what? Who's the model in the family? Not Kylie. Um, a Kendall Jenner. Kendall, keep an ear out for her on the modeling circuit. See right. what all she's doing. Uh-huh. Okay, thank you. Anyway, um, they, they've known each other though for a moment. She was in the power video um, as an angel and she walked in his runway show years ago and he put a verse in some music about how he really likes it. I'm th sorry, I'm thinking about, mm, mm -hmm. I don't care. He needs help, Kim still wins and Irina, you could do better. You could do better. I couldn't date a man that's that troubled. You know, personally speaking, it's too much of a burden. Did he take his meds? Is he gonna spaz out? On a side note, um, tonight, no, the season finale of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. And then the reunion airs next week. And Andy's got us covered. Take a look. Why is the show coming to an end? We're all feeling a little overwhelmed. We had done it for so long. What people don't know is you said to me, I'm gonna put you in a car, no one will find you, just leave. And I'll take care of it. Wow, do you think you owe him an apology? Absolutely. Do you think your relationship might have turned out differently if you hadn't shared so much of it? Probably, really? But I think the substance abuse was the deal breaker. That was pretty irresponsible. So do Courtney and Travis have your blessing? When Tristan first cheated on you, how did you know it will be done again? Chris, have you forgiven Caitlyn for how she treated you? Never. Never. <laughs> okay, so you might wonder why is Andy hosting as opposed to Ryan, who's the creator of the show? But Ryan is only exciting when he's with Rippa and she pulls him out, you know, she gives him personality. Like Ryan will be sitting there not asking the stuff we wanna know, whereas Andy digs. Mm -hmm. And I think they all look great. I like, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. They look like the housewives though, sitting there. It's like what? a housewife setup. You wanna know what? So what? Yeah. I like it. I, li I love it. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. Gosh. Yes. Keep it going. Yeah. You know, you know how sometimes uh -huh. it's, it's like a woman who catches the man and then gains a whole bunch of weight, like, oh, I, or whatever. Like, you forget to be yourself. Uh -huh. Okay, over at Bachelor in Paradise, uh, they've announced more hosts to replace Chris Harrison. I like none of them. Okay, nothing against them, but first of all, David Spade, who I love, he should be the host. And a lot of the men at Scotto's look like that, like the, the jacket, the slacks, the, you know, it's been a long day. Hey. Uh-huh. But also, little John, who I love, and he loves Bachelor in Paradise, so he, he will know where he is. Exactly. Uh, he's distracting, though, for this. All I think about is, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we're friends, I like him, but not for this show, and I just want one host. Like, don't swap people out. I want David Spade. He's bigger than everyone else, but you know what? It's a popular show. He wants to be seen and talked about. 
good hair doesn't last forever. So just David Spade, like I don't want tryouts. Um, there's Lance Bass and Titus Burris. And I like both of them a lot. But no, I don't want you there. I want David Spade. Like when I turn on the TV, I love comfort. Knowing exactly who I'm watching and what's going on. And, and you know, from news broadcasting to even, you know, like your favorite talk show. Um, By the way, there's a channel, I think it's new, I'm not sure, but I get it. It's called Court Justice. And for 24 hours, you are in court. <laughs> look, look, no, no, no. Everybody, all the judges, like it's court all day. Like you are the father, you're not the father. You know, I will sue you, I hate him, I hate her, whatever. The usual suspects, Judge Maybelline. Ah, oh, the best. Judge um, Ju Hatchet. Oh, legend. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um, judge, um, anyway, there's, if you love court like I do, there's a channel now for us. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think it's Judge Hatchet that I've analyzed and said, she's got the bitchy rest, resting face. Oh. Mm -hmm. She's always looking like, right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> kind of scary, you know? Yeah. Well, her name's Hatchet. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, right? Oh, I am very You're flexible. Very flexible. And also, the key to being able to sit like this mm -hmm. is you got to have a little thigh gap. Oh, yeah. You see? Yep. So the fat doesn't, you know, yep. believe me, I know. Yep. Yep. And I've got it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Erica Mena is about to give birth and Safari is the father and they already have a child together but he wants to be in the delivery room. In the meantime, they're going through an evil divorce right now. So according to TMZ, Safari is worried that Erica won't let him in the delivery room so he wants to get the courts to force her to allow him. First of all, <laughs> moms win, we always do. And I don't know Erica Mena, what she does or whatever. Uh, Safari's been here before, you know, he's a friend to the show. I'm not sticking up for you because you're a friend to the show. You know I'm a straight shooter, uh, Safari. But I've got to tell you, if she doesn't want you in there, whether you're lovingly married, whether you're going through a divorce, she's the one who has to give birth. Do you know what that means to a woman's life and body? And, and like, get out. You know, there should be a guest list and you're not on it. You know, a woman has the, has the right to even tell her own mother, I don't want you in here. Even in a loving time, no, I don't care, I don't want you in here, you know? And a dad has the right to say, I don't wanna be in there. But Safari, you've got no rights in this. Erica, good luck with birth, and this, can this be the last time we talk about them? Sure, I'm good with that. <laughs> So, apparently, according to the Bureau, we're having our morning meeting, and so, you know, someone said, oh, you're an internet sensation. What? I've done nothing? I, I, I've done nothing. Oh, get out of here, Nat. You saw it? Yes. A big one. It's coming for you. Get out of here. It's coming right for you. Yeah. Um, well, back in 2019, I went viral. I have no idea. I like to stay out of that. Uh, after talking about little Kim, take a look. 
She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Now, come on now. <laughs> Our co-host knew it. I didn't know this was all going on. By the way, Sus, give me a full little Kim set and I want all cursing. I want, yeah, yeah. We doing, we doing the curses? Okay. She's an icon. She's a legend. Super She's legend. She's a moment. So the catchphrase goes viral, and apparently people are doing greeting cards, t-shirts, and ins no. <laughs> which, no. look. What? Um, what? Look. What do I do? I like it though. Look, I, I like it. <laughs> I had no idea, but you know I love little Kim. Uh huh. Always have. And this week, apparently, um, Casey Wilson, uh, she's an actress, and she was on Watch What Happens Live. Take a look. Favorite Kathy Hilton moment so far, and I understand you have an impression. I do. My favorite moment is when Kathy, who is a queen, she's an icon, she is the moment, to quote Wendy Williams. <laughs> That's what Bernie... Bernie immediately was like, yes. trade market. Yes, yes. Like, yeah. All right, well, he'll figure it out. I have no idea. <laughs> um, 